What's up Madden Gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing and illustrating for you a man-to-man -man pressure blitz out of the nickel 335 formation. This is part three of our five scheme, uh, play for success scheme. And uh, we talked yesterday about run defense. We, t we talked Monday about having a base play. And today we're talking about getting pressure out of a man-to-man -man, uh, defense here. So let's see if I can find a, a nice little play here that we can come out in to get a little bit of a, just to kind of illustrate the pressure. And uh, what we want to come out in is actually the two men under, which is really unique because uh, the 3-3-5 uh, has a really nice two men under blitz angle and the two men under, as you guys will know, is the best man coverage in the game. So what we want to do with this, and you don't actually have to base a line, but I like to, Actually, let me rephrase that. You do have to base a line. Uh, but you want to uh, shift your line to the right. We do that on every play. You want to crash your defensive line to the right side of the screen. Okay. Actually, you just want to, I think if I remember right, you just want to contain everybody on the defensive line. It's been a long time since I've ran this uh, defense. And then you want to man up Hayden. Uh, so you want to contain this slot guy out here, Bowman. And you want to man Hayden up on that guy. And it's basically like a cover one blitz. So something like this. But this should generate... Uh, oh, I don't know why I'm in the read option. I think I accidentally audible to it. My bad, guys. I apologize for that. Uh, let's see here. So base the line. Shift the line back, or shift the defensive line to the right. And then contain Bauman. Man up Hayden on Cautry. I like to drop this curl flat zone over here if the running back's on the right side. So that then I can be free to use her the linebacker, and we should. Why am I? I think I actually accidentally came in out of the read option. I'm struggling a little bit today, guys. Apologize for that. Uh, it's been a long week, but let's hop back in here. Two men under, and let's come out in an actual passing play this time, so, as opposed to a running play. I apologize about that. So base line, shift your defensive line to the right. Do those contains. Drop this guy over here. Drop this guy here. And then now you're manned up across the board in a cover one style blitz. And we should get that pressure. You see how it kind of gets in there? Um, let's let's see here if we can make it even work a little bit better here. Because it has been a while. Let's see if that works. And there you see it. So that's what I was trying to, to show you. So what you want to do here, and, and I finally remember the setup. So it's, you, wanna, you still want to do everything I did. The only thing I told you wrong was the defensive line. So you want to base a line. You want to shift your defensive line to the right. You want to crash your defensive line down. You want to contain both defensive ends. You want to leave this defensive tackle on the blitz angle. So that's what I told you wrong. You want to drop this guy into a contain or a blitz, depending on whatever you want to do. You want to drop Hayden in man coverage. And then you can drop right over to the purple zones, curl flat zones rather, or you could put him in a hook zone. I like to drop him into a curl flat. Because what your opponent will see is he'll see this middle linebacker not go to cover the running back. And he may think that he has a beat to the running back. But you'll see here that uh, when he does that, if he tries to throw it over there, you see that KJ Wright is going to, or Major Wright is going to be right over there. Uh, so hopefully you guys are trying to see what I'm illustrating there. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, as you just saw, let's take a look at that in instant replay to show you what happened there. Because it's a pretty key thing. Uh, but basically, if they pick up that A-gap pressure, which they oftentimes actually will, as you see here, if they, they're going to pick up Julius Peppers this time. But watch. He's going to hold that angle in there so that your uh, boy here can come through on that really hot blitz angle. So at this point, really the only thing that's going to be open are like the quick out routes and stuff like that that are not pressed. But since we're in two men under, everything's pressed. So it's very hard to get the ball out quick. They have to throw to the guys like the running backs and the tight ends. And I'm going to have the tight end covered because I'm going to use the middle linebacker. And like you saw here, we got a guy going out to the flat to hit that uh, back at the quick catch. So a lot of things we get done with this play. And I want to just talk a little bit about it because I've shown you the setup and I don't really need to go back over that. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're showing, watch what I do here. So look at these adjustments. Now, I think I totally just messed my play up on accident. Reset that. But basically, watch this. So when we look at this real quick, and I want to show you the play art pre-snap. Um, so we drop Major right into this flat zone. We drop Williams into the hook zone. What does that look like if you if you 
if you're just looking at like the middle linebacker or you're just looking at the safety, it looks like cover three. Because it, it looks like this. So it looks like it, it looks like you were just in like a like a cover three blitz. Something like this. And in something like this, the flats are open. So let's audible back to the play. They think we're in a zone blitz. We're actually in a man blitz. And against a zone blitz, the flats are going to be open. And let's just drop. We can just drop right in man coverage here. We don't have to put him in a flat zone. But there you see it. And you get the pressure in. And now all of a sudden, as I bump another button, I am struggling today. But hopefully you see what I'm trying to show you here. Is you're playing a lot of chess with this play. And uh, let's take a look at this one more time. So really quick, if I audible to like... I keep audibling, and I'm really getting upset now um, on accident. But anyway, so you drop your guys. For some reason, the controller is really being gay. It keeps re-blitzing them, even though I'm not re-blitzing them. So, so anyway, but this is what they see right here. So this is what the opponent sees. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm going to kill my system after this video but you see how this is what they're seeing so when these guys drop like this, they're basically this is what it's going to look like so these two guys are going to drop so they're going to think that it's some kind of cover two or some kind of invert or something like that but what happens is it's actually man coverage what's open against cover and look real quickly what's open against like cover two invert or, or something like that well the out routes are open against stuff like that so here I step up to try to throw the out route. I'm in. I've got pressure in my face. I can't get rid of the ball because the inverted cover two. They wouldn't press on the outside, but they do in this because it's a man blitz. So I hope that despite all of the controller problems, you guys saw what I was trying to show you there. The setup will be in the description uh, if you didn't. If you didn't get what I was trying to talk about. Uh, once again, though, this is how we use a man blitz from the nickel three through five formation. Um, in closing, guys, I want to remind everybody that we are live streaming this Saturday, and we're going to be live streaming from about 10 o'clock to about 4 o'clock, somewhere in that range, I'll be live streaming on Twitch. If you want to be notified of when I actually go live, you can subscribe to my twitch.tv channel. There will be a link in the description for you to do so. And uh, the reason you would want to do that is so that you can stay up to date on all of my streaming opportunities. And, and what we're doing also on Saturday is we're going to give you guys opportunities to play me. Subscriber games. So we're going to have any guy can come on and challenge me to a game and we'll just play. And and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just play. And I'm going to be playing with the Bears and be getting ready for the big game of the week on Sunday. And uh, But I really hope that you guys take advantage of this opportunity because I don't always have a lot of time to stream. But I'm making time for you on Saturday. And I hope that you take advantage of it. We'll see you guys then. Thanks, guys.